I have four kids and one morning they were jumping on the furniture and I had to go into the living room and tell them not to jump on the furniture. They were not happy with me because I had totally ruined their game for the day. And at one point, my son even said, Mom, I just can't take your rules. Can I move to another family? So I played along and I said, yeah, sure, go ahead. A quiet, heavy minute of silence went by. And then suddenly he burst out, no, Mom, I don't want to move to another family. I like this one. It got me thinking about how sometimes that's how we are with our faith. The image that God has chosen for himself is that of a loving parent. And that morning, when I told my sons they could not jump on the furniture, it was because I had their safety in mind. I didn't really feel like taking any of them to the emergency room that day with a broken bone or worse yet, a concussion or head injury. Sometimes we forget that when we are confronted with rules that the church presents us or the Ten Commandments. But the reality is, God is a loving Father, and what He desires for us is safety, health, and wholeness. Think about the Ten Commandments. The first three pertain to our relationship with God and to our identity, that we are valued and cherished, and that we are hardwired for truth and love and for community with God and one another. The remaining seven commandments are very much about our relationship with other people. What are they? Number one, you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind and serve Him alone. The second one, you shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. Third, keep holy the Sabbath day. And then we go into the commandments that are about our relationship with other people. Commandment number four, Obey your mother and father. Number five, you shall not kill. Number six, you shall not commit adultery. Number seven, you shall not steal. Number eight, you shall not lie or bear false witness against your neighbor. And commandments nine and 10, do not covet your neighbor's wife or goods. They are all ordered for right relationship, for healthy relationships, to to give us a framework for ordering our lives so that we can remain healthy and whole in our relationship with ourselves, with God, and with one another. All the kinds of things that a loving parent would desire for their child. And just as my children have begun to learn that the rules I have in place for the household are designed for their safety and security, so too do we need to come to an understanding that the Ten Commandments are God's way of keeping us safe and healthy so that we can have life to the fullest and have joy and peace.